Are you too losing faith in humanity? Well then get a religion. If you know anything about me, it's that you know I'm pretty religious, but you don't know how religious. Now I'm not saying any of the fun stuff like the Ramadans and the Hanukkahs. Those kinds of parties are not in the budget. And it's not a flavor aid because Kool-Aid was too expensive type budget either. I'm talking a bring your own wallet type of situation. And don't be saying this is a cult. This is not a cult. If it was, he would have said so. He only said it sounds like it's becoming a cult. Never said that it was, but you're all gonna doubt me in the comments, so I'm gonna prove to you why you're wrong right now. First off, he didn't create a world of horror that could only be escaped with his help and guidance. Someone else did that. He just happened to live in it. Second, no outsider would look at what he was doing and see a power-hungry self-serving cynic and fraud looking to brainwash and deceive everyone who comes in contact with him. It was more of a sellout now, consequences can't legally touch me if I don't leave the house kind of setup. He never portrayed himself that noble, because if he did, he probably wouldn't have kept asking for money. And third, if you were in his place, you would also make the decision to die than to forsake the dream. If you knew what the real world was like, you'd do it too. There are vultures everywhere, like the business to consumer salespeople. Not talking the business to business ones, B2B is a real job. And I'll tell you what, this world is plagued by the wicked and soulless, mindless animals. A shameless people. I can smell the cognitive dissonance from here. Now I've spent my fair share of life with the Godfear in public, Reddit is a filthy, filthy place with unoriginal content run by Kid Toucher Incorporated. But like they say, nature does 85% of the work for you. I got account suspensions and comments removed from my own private subreddit, so I backed off. You know, you want to own a kid magnet? You do what you gotta do. I'll go back to email and IRC. At least those services don't discriminate. It didn't for Hillary. The email agency didn't snitch on her. They just didn't have the funds to train their security team on how to use malware bytes. But remember, it's never too late to be saved. When life gets you down, you don't have to suffer in silence. You can also laugh while you suffer. Join the movement of the rising sun to receive more garbage content by subscribing to my YouTube channel.